Hey guys, you're watching Daniel G on React, and today we're gonna check out the official trailer for Suede's. I believe it's either Suede's, is it Suarez? Let us know how to pronounce it. Um, starring Shah Rukh Khan. We are checking this, we're reacting to this trailer because we're told this is like his best, the best movie he's ever done. Um, Something that would, you know, maybe uh, put a better taste in our mouth yeah. after uh, My Name is Khan. Yeah. And uh, if you guys want us to review the movie, make sure to smash that like button, get us up to 500 likes, and we will jump on it. But uh, without further to do, let's do it. <laughs> From the writer director of the Academy Oh man, it's a DVD version. It's the only trailer. This is a story about Mohan Bargo, a man who had a vision. The core satellite was designed like a Fiat and then spacecraft. And it would be launched in a non functioning orbit. A man in search of his roots. He faced one hurdle. Excuse me, parampara or sanskar ke bina hamara desh yu hota, jaise atma bina sharir. Shadi ke baad ghar mein bande rehne ki ye shart mujhe manzoor nahi. Mohan Bhargav had his beliefs. Yahan par kuch badalne wala nahi hai. Log log badalna hi nahi chahte. And then. He underwent a change. He became a woman. <laughs> Swades. Swades. Okay. Swades. That's it. All right. Well, that's uh, a lame trailer. But I'm not going to fault the filmmakers for that because that looked like a DVD no, trailer. No, that was definitely, so. that was like American DVD trailer. So no, no, Boy, no man. negative, no negative stuff for me about one that. trailer um i mean to be honest with you i am intrigued to know a little bit more about this yeah. story no it looks interesting yeah. i, I want to watch it this it looks different than than the other things we've seen him in so far as well you know um i'm also getting a vibe about like america versus indian culture at least that's what i got from the trailer which is always appealing to me as a mexican american not knowing where I identify with America or, you know, Mexico, I guess. I mean, I, I know I where I define, but uh, where other people like to. There's definitely some identi identity issues. That's yeah. what I was going um, for. And there's so you relate to it is what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of I, I can relate to it as well. You know, being Puerto Rican, we are like American. We're <laughs> technically American, but we, you know, not on purpose. Like it's like we're forced to become Americans and they made us Americans so they could use this and in wars. And no one and looks at Puerto soldiers. Ricans as Americans either. Um, no, exactly. Not even the president. Yeah, so you still, yeah, look at what, how he's handling the... Uh, Power crisis. Yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a unique way of identifying yourself. Like, I, I, you know, maybe one day we could have a conversation about it on a podcast or something just because it's, it's, it's different, you know, and I'm, I don't know how other people are in other countries when they immigrate to other countries and how how they feel. Um, and again, we're assuming that's what the story's about. Yeah. It, was a, it was a pretty simple, straightforward trailer, so we could be completely missing the mark. Right. We could be reading into it too much. But, you know, the fact that he was at NASA and then he's, like, going to move there, so I'm assuming that there's some sort of, like, he doesn't care about leaving India. That's what I kind of got from it. Right. And they kind of want to stay... Kinda. Yeah, or his wife wants to stay, wants him to stay, and there's like that struggle, that identity, like like maybe he doesn't have the same pride that she does, or yeah, you know, so maybe I mean, it's a thing about traditions as well. Maybe she's really traditional and he's not. And, and I think that's a good movies like this are good to learn from because uh, I'm sure they're gonna portray those traditions, those aspects of life that we will that'll be foreign to us, and they may not be done in the most like realistic way. They might be done in the Bollywood, right. Hollywood fashion, where it's stylized and condensed and everything. But at least because we can you get... want these things to be entertaining, right? Why. Exactly. But at least um, you can get little pieces. Of yeah. It. Like in Padman, there's definitely some culture in there, and not just about sanitary pads, but like actually showing people living their lives. And I'm sure it's not 100 percent like that, but I'm sure there's enough that you can extrapolate. No, absolutely. It, you know. Absolutely. But uh, you I'll, know, so I'll, uh, before, I mean, we apologize for the quality of the trailer itself. You know, we had to get this off another website um, to get the, the uh, subtitles. To get the subtitles. So uh, it's not the best, you know, our sound quality, we already, the volume's already normally low, we know. 
I, uh, we, I, I guess, is it better if you if listen to it in headphones, I guess? Uh, I mean, it, technically it would be, but I mean, we don't, we don't recommend, I mean, I think it, you just turn your volume up. I mean, I don't know. It, maybe my speakers are just... That, that good? Yeah, and I'm not bragging. I just, it doesn't sound bad to me when I yeah. listen to it. <laughs> Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but uh, yeah, 500 likes and we will review this film. Uh, so all you SRK fans out there who are still subscribed and didn't leave us after <laughs> My Name is Khan, you know, if you, wanna, if you want that one more chance for your boy, step up. Let's, let's step get, it up. Let's get this video to 500 likes so we can watch this video. Step it up. Because, I mean, I, I like Chalk to India. I don't have any problem with SRK. Like, every video no. we watch them in, I still want to do that AIB podcast. Right. You know, like, I don't have any problem with SRK. I, I know a lot of people kind of, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but some people took it personal. Some people take it, yeah. Don't, I mean... Don't take it personal. They're, they're movies. We're, yeah, we're they're discussing movies. movies. These are just opinions. Yeah. I mean, um, if SRK were here, I'd say the same thing to him, and I'm sure we could laugh about it. I would hope so. Right. Because I think if... I mean, he might get offended, too, and flip the table over. <laughs> and punch me. Which would be pretty which, awesome. That'd be great for the channel. Yeah. So if that be. ever happened, uh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let us know. And uh, I don't know. You know what? Uh, there's a certain, there's a certain uh, Salman Khan fan out there who... Really wants us to review Bajrangi Bajan, and uh, I think we have to do that too. Sorry to jump that into an SRK reaction, but uh, you know who you are, Tejan. Um. <laughs> He's, uh, I gotta say, he rolls with the punches. Yes. Uh, although, I and, did I, I, and we're giving him a shout out. We're giving you a shout out because you were like consistent on Twitter, consistent on Facebook, consistent on YouTube. Like, you're, you're, you were there, and we appreciate everything you do. Um, even even when people shit on you, yeah. like we should probably defend you. A little well, bit you give more. it right back. Yeah, you give it right back. Which know? is good. It's 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 always interesting to see how people react to one another about certain films because, and not just about Indian films, but any film in general. I mean, I don't know how I def every time Indiana Jones four gets brought up, I'm right there to defend it to the point where sometimes I'll like I should just keep my mouth shut, but I'll just stick my my two cents into there. So I, I mean, totally. Sometimes you have to, right? I I, well, I'm saying I totally get why people are so passionate about shitty movies. Right. <laughs> you know, like I get it. I get why you would like certain movies that are shit. Right? Cause it's just, I like shitty movies too. Or I don't think they're shitty, but other people do. And, uh, you know, Indiana Jones 4 is one of them. The prequel trilogy is the other ones for Star Wars. Knowing the, the Sean, uh, I was going to say Sean Connery, the Nicolas Cage movie. Not even this close to the same actor yeah, yeah i know the, yeah. that movie uh i like bad boys too the michael bay movie you like michael bay in general i like michael bay in general michael bay is like if you guys didn't know over on this side of the world michael bay is a joke to, i love the most bay. like serious filmmakers and i i every um, single one of those people i will have serious conversations and debates and defend michael bay as a filmmaker i've said it once i'll say it again michael bay is the last of a dying breed he's the last of the, the directors out there who can make a movie however they want to be however they want to make it blowing shit up as crazy as they want whatever and the studio basically will say okay he's the last of the 80s filmmakers even though he didn't get a start until the 90s and directing music videos at that too uh, but i mean <laughs> I, I i respect the guy i really do i really do he's an asshole he's a prick i uh i had one moment this is gonna be a side story i know this is turning into a michael bay thing now but uh I saw Pain and Gain in Long Beach. This is a while back, pre-screening. Were you there? Yeah, Carlos was there. And uh, I overheard some people saying, well, Michael Bay's here, whatever. And we were outside the screening after it was done. And I saw Michael with like his bodyguards. And I loved the movie. I thought it was great. And uh, it wasn't that bad for a Michael Bay movie. Oh, whatever, I don't care. Anyway, this is my point. See, Pain and Gain movie, I'll defend it. Because it was fun. I fucking enjoyed it. The Rock's great. Whatever. It was like the same movie as uh, the one with Leo that Scorsese directed. Wolf of Wall Street? Well, Pain and Gain like, came out first, so. Yeah. It was Maybe like Scorsese a, copied Michael Bay, it was huh? A shittier version of Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> but point is, see Michael Bay down the hallway, and he has like three black dudes around him because they're like, that's a security t team. And. Because uh, he's racist. We make eye contact, and I just like give him a nod and I give him a thumbs up, and I mouth like, good movie. And then he's, can he does like, thing. He says thanks back, and then that's my one moment with him, because then that's it, and then then we went on our way. You know? And then they went to Michael Bay's limo, and Daniel sucked his dick. Uh -huh. If that happened, I might 
have more money than I do right now. So that's definitely not what happened. Or he just shit on you and never talk to you again. That's a, you know, we don't, we'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never you know. You have to ask Michael. Yeah. Um, you know, Mike, but, uh, in, as in my contacts, Mike. I love how this went like completely. Mickey had, M. Had Mickey, nothing Mickey to do B. with the trailer at all. At it this didn't. End. So people, uh, people have been hating it. People have just been complimenting us about how great we have about keeping on track and everything, and then this video comes along. Well, it's the end of the video, so most of you guys tune out three and a half minutes this in is, anyways. This is for the real subscribers so, yeah, fans so, out uh, there. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. You know the drill. Smash that like button. 500 likes. 500 likes. 500 likes. Um, and we will review the movie. And make sure to check out these other reactions we have down here. And uh, you can also subscribe. Let's get some subscribers going. We got the 10K, 100K is the next goal. We haven't reminded anybody about the OMG review, but be on the lookout for oh that. Oh my God, OMG review. Actually, it already came out already. This Sunday. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Take it back. All right. All right. That's going to do it for us. <laughs>